Hello, today I will be making a room box and a backdrop for a pink and gold themed birthday party scene. This will be the first tutorial for this series. Don't forget to check the description box for the materials and the link. This part of the tutorial will be really quick because I will only show you few clips on how I made the room box. Check the description box for the measurements. As you can see here, I have already assembled the room box and I have simply glued the three pieces together using wood glue. And later on, I will add each edges with a wood strip to make it clean and polished. Since the theme of the party is pink and gold, I painted the wall with pastel pink. And here's how it looked like after I painted it. Next, I added the printed herringbone floor and earlier I had already sprayed it with a colorless glossy varnish to protect the image and make it look shiny. And finally, I glued the wood strips on all the outer edge of the room box. For each flower, you need to cut 3 pieces of paper in the same size. I am using a 5 by 5 cm paper here. Take one of the pieces and fold the square into a triangle. Fold it the second time, and then the third time. Take your pencil and draw a curve line. Following the curve, cut the excess paper. Then snip the opposite end. You should have something like this. Do the same steps to the other remaining pieces. Now that you have your three flowers, take one piece and cut one petal. Take another piece and cut two petals. And cut three petals for the last piece. You should have something like this. Next, fold the petals so that the folds are all in the same direction. Do this to all the pieces. Then apply glue to one end of the flower and glue two petals together. Do this to the other flowers except for the three separate petals. For the remaining pieces, apply a thin glue on the edge, then glue them together. For the single petal, use a cocktail stick to curl it. Then, add glue on the edges and stick them together. Next, curl all the petals using a cocktail stick.
Assemble the pieces together starting from the second biggest to the smallest piece. Make sure when you glue the flowers, there should be an alternate placement of the petals. If the last petals tend to be much longer, simply make adjustments by cutting the end. Here are the paper flowers in three different sizes. To assemble the backdrop, I used a wood strip to hang the fabric that I will be using. This is around 16 centimeters long. You can make it longer if you want. So I kind of just glue the wood strip directly to the fabric using a fabric glue. Then I used this pink and gold lace to cover the wood strip. Again, I just glued them on top of the wood strip. Then I arranged the paper flower on the mesh fabric. I added a piece of paper at the back and then glued the back of the flower to the piece of paper. This will make them hold stronger. Arrange the flowers however you want it and make it pleasing to the eyes. And finally, I glued the backdrop on the room box and I used this table as a reference on how high I want the backdrop to be. So guys, that's it for today and I am going to come back for more additional miniature tutorials for the DIY birthday room box scene. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye and see you next time.